Welcome to our tutorial on how to test the operation of a solid state relay. To perform the test, you'll need a power supply, a control switch, a solid state relay, and a voltage absence tester, and a load such as a small electrical fan which requires a load current above the value specified on the data sheet of the Celdic SSR. The test is performed with a solid state relay from the OKPAC series. First, let's identify the input and output terminals of the SSR. The input terminals are typically labeled control or input, while the output terminals are labeled with the operating output current and voltage. In this case, the solid state relay is not mounted on a heatsink because the load current for this test is only 180 milliamps. By using the thermal curves, we see that for this switching current with an ambient temperature of 30 degrees C, a heatsink is not required. Before performing any tests, ensure that all safety precautions are in place. First, disconnect the power source. Be sure to wear safety shoes, gloves, a jacket for protection against electrical shock, and finally a helmet with a face screen to protect against electrical sparking. As an initial safety verification, we will conduct a continuity test using our voltage absence tester. Now let's test the SSR using a real load. The small electric fan is connected to the output terminals of the relay and the selector switch is properly wired to the input terminals and power supply. At this point, the relay is not controlled. We have powered the output and the load remains inactive. This confirms that there is no short circuit on the relay output. When you turn on the power supply and apply a control signal to the input, the LED of the SSR switches on and the load activates. Congratulations, your relay is working perfectly. And there you have it. By following these steps, you can test a solid state relay and confirm the functionality of its input and output circuits. Thanks for watching.